There's one. What do we got here? Oh, it was a big walleye. walleye. It was a big walleye. Darn. I didn't have my drag, so it was the first time I used this rod this year. Dummy. Big walleye. That was a big yeah, walleye. I seen, I seen the fish. It's interesting, I've got a side imaging transducer on my bow mount trolling motor before, and I don't know why I'd never done this in years past. It's the first year I've rigged it, but we're just going at a nice pace right now down this shoreline so I can actually see any rocks. And I was just telling Al, hey, it's been all flat sand, mud. And then boom, we just got into an area where there's a little more substrate that I could see. So having that trans, you know, that transducer side imaging on the bow is a really useful tool and we're moving at the same speed i'd side image with the big motor so anybody that's got a bow mount trolling motor and wants to put a side imaging inducer on i'd say it could be a really useful tool oh, oh right it. by the boat right by the boat here oh, nice big oh, one too. big gal big gal <laughs> cool oh man just an odd spot but this is where they're at isn't it so, oh, there's a big one underneath it too. Is there really? A big one with her, yeah, big one with her. You, you got hair? Uh, uh, you, you got that hair, Jed? Yeah, throw it. I, I, I got to sit, sit and see if you can double up on her. She was down right, oh, she's still down there. She's still deep underneath her. No dice. No dice. She was there, uh, there, there for a while. So oftentimes you can do that. You know, boy, there's a big one. She's a it. big one, man. Whoo! Oh, boy, oh, boy. Weird. How's that for a smallie, huh? I went to my all time favorite smallmouth bait. <laughs> Orange X wrap. You can't beat that. Look at the belly on that fish. Huh? That was a pretty good little area here, Jerry. Yeah. Jerry had a couple a walleyes. We got some brown bass in here. There's one, Dan. That was cool. So I'm on side imaging. Yeah. Feels decent. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's what we're after. Whoa! Look at that, Dan. Oh, huh? That is what we are after. You know what? In the summertime, one critter that doesn't get a lot of attention, or critters, I should say, are bluegills. It seems like after the spawn, people lose their focus on catching these magnificent fish. And today, Dan and I are going to talk about catching. Mid-summer panfish, bluegills. We're fishing a lake where the fish are starting to stack up on the weed edge and boom, Dan's got one right now as well. So we're gonna employ a technique that's not often used for panfish, but we'll show you why it's such a great way to catch these big monsters. I'm gonna let it go. Whoa, <laughs> look at him, he's, he's, he's pulling me up to the front of the boat. Come on out. Ooh, where are you at? Whoa. Oh geez, nice tanker. Geez, Dan. See, we're on them. Yep. It's amazing that uh, side imaging and how you you can find fish, Boy, that's that, a you, nice fish. that you would normally fish through. <laughs> Look at this, dude. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> they're bigger than my hand. Look at oh, that. Oh geez, that's another big fish. Oh, they're oh, cool. Man. Yeah, look at that, beautiful. That is a beautiful male. See how pretty they are? They get a little washed out in this dirtier water, but yep. beautiful. Yep. These are kings of the pond, and they keep the, uh, they keep the uh, genetic, genetics in the lake healthy, these big ones do, so you, gotta, you gotta let them go. Side imaging is an incredibly powerful tool. Now, most people have it on the console of their boat, so they're looking as they're, as they're driving for fish, but I've started rigging a side imaging transducer on my bow mount trolling motor, and it's amazing how effective this is. So I don't necessarily see a lot of fish with it, but what's great is I can turn the head of the trolling motor and I can look in any direction and see what's around me. So in this case, I actually did see fish because we're on a really soft bottom. We were focused on this weed edge here, and I looked out to the side and I said, Dan, there's a bunch of, I can actually see the fish out to the side. And there, oh, I just lost one right there. 
and I just we just flipped our baits out and started catching gigantic bluegills. So side imaging is not only a great tool for finding what the habitat looks like under the water when you're cruising and searching, but also when you're fishing to have it on the bow of the boat, it can be extremely effective.